600, but only they have sent the 500. The job of the local PRT is complex. They consider factors like cost, labor and materials when looking at a project. The Pangier PRT added to their list of considerations by putting the locals in charge. We're trying to take a step back and let them do more for themselves. So we'll provide materials like cement and gabions but it's their job to provide the labor and actually do the work. That type of work is not normally taken on by women. That's why having a woman organize and structure the projects in this area of Pangir is just one more thing the PRT has to take into consideration. I don't extend my hand to shake anyone's hand unless it's offered to me first. I'm careful about uh, the way that I talk to the men, how close I get. But they're actually pretty progressive here and they don't have a problem dealing with the women. While they may not want to shake your hand, they'll still talk to you. Corporal Chalosky says the willingness to talk is important. She explains to local leaders in the Dara district of Panjir what the PRT can do for them. She sets up the meetings and helps elders decide what projects have the most impact. There's very limited funding and there's so much that needs to be done here that it's really important for them to pick the projects that will have the biggest impact for the most amount of people and is also the most sustainable. There are more than 20 projects in the works, ranging from school refurbishments to creating retaining walls to stop erosion from the Pangier River. Local contractors will head up most of these projects. Air Force Staff Sergeant Alana Ingram, Pangier, Afghanistan. It's done? Okay.